might be safe, but the big news is Corey Parker's out for the Maroons. Yeah, I just heard, heard, that, heard that before. So, um, oh, look, he's obviously uh, a player for, for them that, um, that has played well in quite a few series. I mean, he, he's got that um, hard work ethic that um, that has made him a great player for the Broncos. But uh, from what I've heard, they're bringing in Dave Taylor, and uh, he's, he's a player that's got, um, I suppose, game-breaking ability. So, look, uh, not, not, not a lot's going to change for us in, in our preparation. We're still going to have to uh, get our body in front of him because we know how much of a hard runner Dave Taylor is. How do you combat a bloke like that, mate? He's just... It's one of those specimens and he's sort of been on the outer up there for a bit and coming yeah. back and he looks like over the last few weeks he's sort of got a point to prove and he's, he's one of those big bodies that can do anything. Yeah, you just have desire. You put your, put your, put your body in front of him because um, that's what your teammate expects. I know my teammate's going to do it, so I've got the responsibility to, to stick my body in front and have the desire to, um, to get him on the ground. You guys have had plenty of injuries in the past as well. What do you say to you know, the Queenslanders who might be saying you're going up against a side that's not... I wouldn't say anything because it doesn't have anything to do to, to do with me how they're preparing their team. I'm only worrying about the New South Wales, so I've got really n nothing to say about it because I'm sure they won't be listening. <laughs> hey mate, how much everything's changed? Like in your time in camp, like it seems like Laurie's got you guys switched on right from the start. I mean, doing video before the announcement yesterday looked like a pretty hard session. Yeah, Today, look, like there's not too much time for you know getting. On the no, of, no, of, of course not, because we we want to achieve something. We're, that's the best way of going about it, is our preparation. We were we were happy with our preparation, what we did. Um, we worked hard in the lead up to game to game one, and um, we know preparation and, and um, getting ourselves right is going to help us for game two. We just also know that we have to improve it because we know Queensland is going to improve in, in, in every aspect, so we have to as well. Yeah, they, they, they were great. They're obviously um, they, they've played Origin before, so they know know what it takes to be a New South Wales player. And uh, it's a couple of different positions for them. But look, they, they were asking questions right from the start. They and right off the bat, they were getting themselves in, in the right place. And um, well, we've got all the confidence in the world that they're going to do the the job for New South Wales. And you just see the excitement of them being back in camp. They are a bit of an odd couple. They're, you could get two <laughs> more different blokes running side by side. Yeah, they are. But uh, look, they, they 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 get along really really well. Um, they, I tell you what, you, you actually, it's a very good point. They can't look any more opposite. But uh, no, look, well, as I said, they're very professional players and um, they've, been, they've been good form for their clubs. So we're just looking forward to them bringing that form into the New South Wales team. How do you explain to them what you guys have started here? How do you get them to buy into to, you know, what you, you've started in game one? Through our actions, through our actions, through how we train. And um, I, th I think they've seen they've seen how, how we um, come in the first day of camp. It was a long, it was, it was a t tough day, but you, you do it with a smile on your face and um, and get through it because that, that's what it takes to be a New South Wales player. You'd much rather be here, here than doing anything else. So uh, th they've bought into it straight away, and um, that's what we expected from them. Birdie's back. He doesn't need any initiation. No, nah, Birdie's back. Birdie, yeah, look, he's, he's obviously, everyone knows what he does off the field, but off the field too, like he's quite, quite a good friend of quite a few of us and uh, just his bit, bit of banner around the place is, um, you know, makes everyone smile and uh, he, he's just a good bloke to have in camp, so we're, we're really happy to have him back. What, you're one of the senior players in the group, what do you say to the guys to keep a lid on things, like you were in this position last year again, how, how hard is it not to get ahead of yourselves knowing you're 80 minutes away from possibly ending this year? Well, look, we've um, we've been in this situation previously. I've been in this situation a couple of times before, and um, if you start worrying about what what might happen, you, you, you forget what it takes to, to get that, that to happen. We, we might we'd forget um, what we did in game one to get ourselves in this position. So it's just coming down to our processes. We, we get our process right, and uh, I mean it's an old cliche, and I hate using it, but if you get process right, the outcome's going to look after itself. So we're not looking too far ahead. If you guys uh, on light duties naturally like gallant things, Wade Graham's here, is there any concern for Luke Lewis? No, no, I mean, I don't think Luke was, was going to train today, but he, he ended up doing the whole session, was doing a bit of con, con at the back end, so look, I think Louis's fine. It's just great to have a few extra numbers out there um, so you can do a, a bit more opposed stuff. And uh, look, it's been great having Jack and, um, and Wade come in. Um, it's always exciting to see blokes first time in Origin camp, and um, they seem to be having a great time. What about Watmo and um, who's the other one? How did Watmo go? Yeah. Was it Bo Scott doing solo stuff down Yeah, he, he, he was just doing some stuff with, because um, he did some stuff with ours and missed out on, on, on a bit there. But look, in ter terms of Chock, um, he's another one I don't think he was going to train that day, but he ended up training the whole session. So he's, um, for, as far as I can see, every, everyone's fit. I don't think Hainsey uh, just, just copped a knock the other day, but he's going to be right tomorrow.
There's a bit of chat about maybe uh, hit a golf later on this afternoon. Who's the worst sport on the greens? Oh, I'll probably chock us. I don't think chock wants to be there. <laughs> I don't think he's too keen on swing, swinging a club. But uh, I'm interested to see uh, how Toops goes because uh, they'll be lucky to find clubs big enough for him. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see look on a putt-putt course or something. <laughs>